We're doing CAT 2018 DILR. This is uh, from slot one. Wonderful, wonderful, fabulous question. Fun. You're given. Let's read this. I'm going to assume you've read it. I'm going to assume you've tried it quite a bit. You need to get. I'm going to jump into the solving part. So if you're just seeing this for the first time, it's probably tricky. Take some time out. Try this out. You're given an n by n square matrix to be filled with numerals so that no two adjacent cells have the same numeral. Two cells are called adjacent if they touch each other horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. Wonderful. So if I have a cell like this, something here would be adjacent, something here would be adjacent, something here would also be adjacent. A side in common or a vertex in common, then the cells are called adjacent. And the cell in the first or last row, so a cell in one of the four corners has three cells adjacent to it. That's correct. So if you're in this top left corner, you'll have the right bottom and diagonally down. The cell in the first or last row or column, which is not in the corner, has five cells adjacent to it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Any other cell has eight cells adjacent to it. Wonderful. So very clearly defined as to what adjacent cells are. Oh, we're jumping into question straight away. What is the minimum number of different numerals needed to fill up three by three square matrix, five by five, and then etc. 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 I'm not going to read all the questions because we have not been given much of a solving grid. We need to jump into the questions and solve them one by one. And so let's do this. What are the minimum number of different numerals needed to fill a 3 by 3 square matrix? And so I'm going to fill numerals. Uh, I'm going to plump in 1, 2, 3, and so on. The best way to start would be probably the four corner cells. And so the corner cells should be all the same because from this corner cells, these three are common. This, these three are common. From this, these three are adjacent, not common. So for this cell, these are not adjacent. So they can all be the same number. So wonderful beginning when vis-a-vis -vis this we could have some other variant where if you put this corner as one this could be one this could be one but then we would be able to squeeze in only three numerals when three three numbers with this three cells with the same number and so we want to have as many as possible four works even before we go further remember anything that comes here can come only here so there's an X here that can be only here. Nowhere else can we have an X because for to this cell, all of these are adjacent. No two adjacent cells can have the same number. This is where X, everything has to be X. Everything else has to be different, not X, sorry. So I'm going to worry about this cell right at the end. The four corners, we put one. Okay? Whatever we put here cannot come here, here, or here. It can come at best here. This and this can go together and we can have a four right in the middle. So brilliant. So we could have two and two, three and three, two and two, three and three, and a four in the middle. So with four cells, we can fill this. Fine. So it looks like the minimum number of different numerals needed would be four. But whenever we get answers like this, it's probably worthwhile to check to just see if we can do it in fewer. And so how do we check that? So think about this. The middle cell has to be different. X. So if we were able to do it within three, then the other eight cells have to be filled with two, new, two numerals. Whatever's in this corner can go into this corner and into these two. But only in this combination do we get four. Eight cells and two numerals. So we need to have four each. Five is impossible. Four each is impossible. So three is not possible. Four works. We know four works, which is kind of making sure of that. It's a wonderful question. We're getting a hang of this. We can do this with four different numerals. Let's go on to the next one. What is the minimum number of different numerals needed to fill a five by five square matrix? We work with a three by three. That's easy. Now we filled out a three by three, a five by five. We can imagine this with a set of three by threes. We know that if this were one, I could have one, 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 one here. And this set of nine squares, this set of nine squares, it works beautifully. I could have one here, one here, one here. These are non 
non non adjacent cells but near enough so with this one here these three are out but is finding close enough if you put a one here it'll be a waste so we'll take it in here so we could have one 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 what do we do next that'll be interesting the best ways for filling some numbers what do we do next i can fill this two 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 three two 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 all these could be same and then this 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 could be same just keeping them two cells apart but keeping as many numerals as many cells as possible with the same numeral and so so this gives us two 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 Three, 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 three. We have four, 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 four here. Brilliant! We've managed this with four numerals. We don't even have to verify this because for even for a three cross three, we needed four numerals. We've already checked that out. So for a five cross five with four numerals, we can complete this grid pretty much entirely. And so this is just a three cross three repeated over. If you look at it, this. Set of three cross three, and then this set of three cross three, the three cross three right in the middle here. All of these are variants of the same theme. Four corners with the same number, center number being different, and then two pairs outside of that. And so, so four numerals are sufficient to fill in a five cross five. So the minimum number is four. Suppose you're allowed to make one mistake. That is, one pair of adjacent cells can have the same numeral. What is the minimum number of different numerals required to fill a five cross five matrix? Five cross five matrix without any errors is four. And so, with one error, maybe we can do it with three. There's no three choice here. All numbers are four or more. It's four. More importantly, this is jam packed. Suppose we could have these two as same. That doesn't give us much leeway. We're using only four numerals. We know instinctively that with three numerals and 25 cells, even if one pair could be adjacent, give or take, we're talking about 24 cells broken across three, eight, eight, eight. It is going to get crowded in some form here. So we simply cannot do it with just three. With four, it is possible. So this leeway of uh, with one mistake does not really give us much. So without a mistake is four, with just one mistake, it's still four. The choices are friendly and the idea is good as well. Suppose that all the cells adjacent to any particular cell must have different numerals. What are the minimum number of different numerals needed to fill a five cross five square matrix? Wonderful. So they should have anything adjacent to a particular cell must have a different numeral. So I'm going to fill by putting the thread bar once in place, thinking about different three cross threes. And so one, 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 one. So nine different ones, they take their positions. Now we'll put two and threes. Remember, around a cell, all eight numbers should be different. I'm going to say 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And think about this. This is already wrong because this 9 has a 1 here and a 1 here. Our original framework is incorrect. We cannot have 1 and 1 this close to each other. So this cell and this cell will have two numbers that are identical to each other. Around each cell, there should be eight different numbers. All the cells adjacent to any particular cell must have different numerals. That means if you put something here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all 8 should be different. Right? Straight away, the minimum should be 9. In any 3 cross 3, we should have 9 cells, 9 numbers. 4 is out. If we put this as 2, this will be 1, whatever is around here, we, will have, we should have as many. Uh, we should have different s numbers occupying each cell. So all eight should be different and they should be different from this number. And so then nine is the bare minimum. I'm not saying we can do it with nine. We cannot do it with four. That much we know. Right? 
now think about a framework and so we cannot have once this near prime because this cell will have both of these as common so no cell can have the same number on two adjacent cells so think about it if i'm placing one digit somewhere one of the closest the same digit can be kept it if i have this as one this cannot be one this cannot be one this cannot be one that much is obvious this cannot be one this cannot be one this cannot be one because for this both will be adjacent this cannot be one this cannot be one sorry all of these are ruled out if this cell were one all of these would be ruled out i have to go this far or this far to accommodate the next one so let us go that far and fill in a few ones a one 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 a cell here will have only this one as common no other one this one will have only this one as common this one will have only this one as common this one will have only this one as common around each one is a set of cells that is not having any adjacency with any other one and we filled in ones might as well fill in twos with the same idea sitting there what do we mean by that 2 2 2 2 again so instead of a 3 cross 3 we are filling these on a 4 cross 4 we've done ones and twos we're going to pick any ones one here and a two and fill the rest of the numbers 3 4 5 six, seven, eight, brilliant we fill this out we need a minimum of 9 this is ruled out we filled ones and twos uh, well spaced out we know that from a given number four spaces out is a is good insurance we've outlined that four cross four really well now we filled all this nicely now which seems like we don't need 25 we have placed four ones and four twos it is between 9 and 16 we've got 9 can we do it with just 9 and so can we fill these numbers so look at this square this is like a sudoku puzzle now this has 1 2 3 4 9 5 6 7 8 need to be filled and think about it imagine i'm using the same idea for filling these this number could be same as this number two steps removed 6 this could be same as this 5 this could be 7 and 8 5 here 5 here this could be 5 this could be 5 and so this is 6 this could be 6 this is 6 this could be 6 this is 4 this could be 4 this could be 3 So if you take any three cross three, it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you take the middle three cross three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Any three cross three will have the numerals from one to nine, in some order, each coming only once. So we can do this with exactly nine numbers. And wonderful, wonderful, wonderful question. classically tough we're just using the same pattern that we had used for the filling the first ones ones and twos we stuck in and then we put around the one and then said every fourth cell is, is non controversial it can things can fit in there and and quite comfortably and as tightly as possible so there is a pattern to filling the the numbers there we can fill the entire grid with numbers from 1 to 9 each cell all the cells surrounding it adjacent to it will have different digits the second condition is satisfied